it's a lot to put out him, you know what I'm saying? Um, brother's phone just crashed, like, just cut off the video, it didn't say nothing, just everything just cut off, so it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Hey, at the end of the day, the Most High's word is the glow void, you know? This is 1 Corinthians 4 and 9, for I think that the Most High has set forth us the apostles last, as it were, appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. And we went to that word spectacle, it's the atron, which means to be a, uh, to be gazed upon or to be mocked. That's why whenever we go out to the highways and byways and people come up mocking us, it's because that's what's supposed to happen. You see, we, yeah, it's annoying, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's supposed to happen because we're made a spectacle unto these people. It's like a show, you know? So it says, verse 10, we are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are, you can break it down. We are weak, but ye are strong. Yep. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Mm -hmm. yep. You got a point? Yeah, I mean, you know, just going into all of those words, you know, well, we are weak, but you are strong. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, us being the, the men that are set up to push the gospel, push the word, um, we're going to be made, you know, or esteemed less in the eyes of the, of the public mm -hmm. um, than, you know, a, a, an upstanding Christian citizen, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and what was the other one? You, you it says, uh, uh, you are honorable, but we are despised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, so we, you know, we're, we're despised where... Whereas we should be receiving the the, the, the honor, which we will in the kingdom, right? right? Right, right, And that's, like I said, the point of the whole lesson. The spiritual things are not seen. So our honor is not going to be given unto us until that, you know, which is which is written for this place transpires, right? It's destruction. And then all of the old, all of the things that, um, that are written in Revelation, as far as the kingdom of heaven is concerned, are set up, man. You yeah. know? That's why it talks about stacking your treasures in heaven, whereas moth and rust don't corrupt. Mm -hmm. You know, we're stacking our spiritual riches up in heaven. That's why when we do this, you know, people, ah, you guys been out there for so long and you guys, nothing's changing. You know, no, we're making, we're making spiritual deposits every day, man. We, 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 we putting it to, we, man, we putting it into the bank. Okay. We going to the bank with this. It's treasure. treasure. Every treasure. single day, we just making deposits. And just imagine you making a thousand dollar deposit every single day. Mm -hmm. And I'm using just a thousand dollars as you know as an example, you know. But every single day, a thousand bucks, boom, boom. By the time, by the time you know, by the end of that month, you know what I'm saying, thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Years come by, man. You 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 good, and you ain't touching. Mm -hmm. You see, so the Most High, man. He, hey, man, we we banking on this promise because at the end of the day, He's faithful. You know, we're not supposed to be looked at and deemed as as, as these. As these honorable men, as, as we just read, or read the last part again, it says, Ye are honorable, so we are distinguished in the eyes of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, but we are despised. We're, we're dishonored here in this world. You know, as the brother mentioned before the camera cut off, it says, If you were of this world, the world would love its own, but we're not of this world. Mm -hmm. I'll finish it up. Verse 11. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. And labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it, being defamed, we entreat, we are made as the filth of the world, <laughs> and are as the offscouring of all things until this day. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's the spirit, because I was thinking about that scripture. I think you mentioned it, um, basically the same thing, you know, basically we looked at as filth among the, among the people, man, and it's, and it's so, it shows you how backwards this place is, you know. I mentioned it before, but it's just like, it's, it's amazing to see that the least valuable man on the planet, the terror to the earth, the cancer and parasite disease to the earth is made like looking unto a, like a God amongst, not only amongst his own nation, but amongst all the other people on the earth, man, that aren't in this truth, you know, because there's, they got a demon on them that, that sees only carnal things. You know, which it is what it is. Is that more on that verse? I mean, I want it. That's it on that. Mm -hmm. um, did you? What are we holding? Uh, we we finished that in Psalms. John fifteen. And oh yeah, yeah. Come, come. Uh, this is uh, Saint John fifteen and eighteen. It says, "If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. I got it. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. Mm -hmm. But because ye are not of the uh, of the world." But I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Boom. 
<laughs> it said chosen, Yahweh chose us out of the world. So there was a selection of individuals that the, the Yahweh that the Most High allowed Yahweh to say, okay, you know, the, you can, you know, the, these these are going to be our ride or dies. These are going to be the ones that, you know, uh, the seven thousand knees that will not bow to Baal, so to speak, mm -hmm. which is more than seven thousand, you know, one hundred forty-four thousand. Okay, of the you know of the elect, the creme de la creme of Israel, you no, know, and then you know the the one third following after that. But it says, if the world hate you, which we know that the world hates us because you know everything that's set up. And no, we're not talking about just just uh, you know the heathen hating the Israelites. We're talking about even our own people hate us, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, the whole world. Yeah, yeah, the whole all the, the everybody else. There's not for Yahweh because the scripture says either is not with me is against me, mm -hmm. but not all the Israelites are with Yahweh. Mm -hmm. So that means the only the only the one third really are on Yahweh's side, you know, until he puts them in their right mind in the kingdom. So that means everybody else, including two thirds of our people, are against us, man. That's why Yahweh said, "If the world hated you, just know that it hated me first. Right? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hey, the world hated Yahweh. Yahweh being the prophet who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, who everybody esteems Jesus. Oh, he was, oh Jesus Christ, right. the Lord, da, da, da. the Lord did. Well, he was hated, man. He, they wasn't messing with the Lord like that. Right. The Lord was going around cursing people out, man. Pretty much telling them to get right, man. Yeah. And it doesn't feel good when, when especially a wicked nigga gets exposed mm -hmm. to that. You know, it don't feel it don't feel like he don't look at. It. He doesn't. He hates rebuke. And the scriptures talk about that. You know, fools they they despise wisdom and they despise reproof. And so they're going to receive, uh, you know, they're going to receive their just desserts. Right. So if we come in the same set of Yahweh and the prophets, and the prophets and Yahweh were hated, you're going to be hated. Mm -hmm. But the prophets and Yahweh, I rather say, and the prophets have a high position in the kingdom, and they have an extremely high position. Mm -hmm. This is a work that we're doing that's that's special, man. Mm -hmm. You know that 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 came from the that that came from the the fourth dimension that we can't even see, mm -hmm. and here it is now today. You know we we got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in these in these weak ass bodies. You know what I'm saying? You over yeah. here catching cold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Catching cramps, got headaches. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Through, mm -hmm. but we we got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from from Yahweh Bashem man. Right. And yeah. it's like it's like bro, if people saw. The value that we actually have on the spiritual side, they'd be more willing to flock to us and you know admire us and and, and follow us on social media and and try to get our autographs than they were the people that's you know mm -hmm. the famous on this side, man. They don't, but they just the Most High just completely blinded their minds to be able to see, see. you know. And we have to even sometimes we gotta get on ourselves like, man, I, I forgot. <laughs> Like we gotta read that in Revelation the second chapter about yeah, Rashad, yeah, man. Yeah, I got you. you know, because yeah, how Rashad reminds us of that. You know that we are valuable and we're precious in this in his sight. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, yeah, Bible Go ahead. Revelation two and nine. Mm -hmm. It's Revelation chapter two. Uh, I'm sorry, verse eight. And unto the angel of the church and smearing the right, these things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. You see that? It says thou art rich. Can we, you, you see my, what my book, can we get that word rich? Go ahead, Doc. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Right. So we are the real, you know, Yahweh the Yom. <laughs> we are the real ones that are, you know, that are uh, the Israel of Israel, if you will. You know, those who, who follow Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And worship him in spirit and in truth. Versus, you know, during that time you had individuals of the circumcision that knew that they were Israelites, uh, but they didn't show forth their faith by their works. And now, we, you know, we, we know that there are uh, other nations that even claim to be Israelites. Um, but that scripture, you know, we wanted to highlight the part where it talks about that, you know, the, the um, Israelites that Yahweh was addressing were rich. Well, what were they rich in? Because it's a, he said that they, you know, he knows of, uh, your tribulation and poverty. So what were they rich in? Uh, could you get that word for Psalms G, 4145, Plusios. Plusios. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says Plusios. It says, uh, first definition, wealthy, abounding in material resources. Mm -hmm. It says, metaphorically, abounding, abundantly supplied. Right. Uh, abounding and abundantly supplied in the spirit, in faith. 
You see? Mm -hmm. Because what does it say? Uh, in James, the fifth chapter, woe unto you rich men, because your you know wealth is cankered, is going is going to be rotting away. Your wealth is not going to save you. But what does this Ephesians the second chapter say? It says, through faith and through grace are we saved. Excuse me, through grace are we saved by faith. So that faith in Yahweh Shai that He died for our sins is what's going to be the 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 lottery ticket, if you will, to our salvation, not our spirit, uh, not our physical wealth. You know, you, uh, could you read that last one, Bible Shai? God, it says, uh, metaphor, abounding, abundantly supply, abounding, uh, rich in Christian virtues and eternal possessions. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, wealthy, figuratively. Figuratively. Mm -hmm. Abounding with, uh, and it's a rich. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to be rich in the spirit of Yahweh, Shemiah, Shana, and the knowledge uh, through the Holy Ghost, man. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. It says, it says, abounding in, in, true virtues or Christian virtues and eternal possessions, mm -hmm. eternal possessions, mm -hmm. you know? So <laughs> imagine that you, you know, you buy, you, you get, so you receive something as a gift because we didn't even buy anything that we're going to receive in the kingdom. We're not, we're not going to necessarily buy it because Yahweh Shai, he died for us to receive these things. Well, it says right here, it says uh, in the uh, Lions of Sojourner Dictionary in the New Testament, it says, it, it, it has abundance, abundant, abundantly abound. It says the gift of the Holy Spirit, mm. entrance into the coming kingdom, mm. the indwelling of the Word of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. and then lastly, it has material benefits. Right. So, are the first three apply to what we're talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, the the Spirit itself is valuable. The the um the the the, the inheritance that we're going to receive is because of the faith that we have. You know, and it's going to be an eternal, um, uh, eternal possessions, you know, eternal glory, eternal power, eternal dominion. These are the things that ought to be esteemed higher than anything else. As far as, you know, if we was going to aspire to have, uh, you know, physical things, we ought to, you know, hope for be to be able to attain them forever. Right. That's why scripture says, buy the truth and sell it not. Mm -hmm. When you look at that word buy, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean to, you know, you go pay for money, you know, paying money to go get this wisdom. Nah, that word buy in the Hebrews quinah. All right, which means to, to get or to possess the truth and sell it not. You know, when you when, as we got this time, as we had grace, as we had favor in the eyes of Yahweh now we're supposed to be eating the, the, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, these riches up. You see, so that we can actually uh so that we can actually have a chance. Of being saved. That's why scripture says, "Give diligence to make your calling and election sure." Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I got a quick precept. Mm -hmm. This is Romans eleven and thirty three. It says, "Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High! How unsearchable are His judgments and His ways past finding out." You see, so the riches, the true riches of the scriptures. Whenever you read in the, uh, uh, you read in Job twenty eight. It tells you how wisdom is more precious than gold, sapphires, jewels, rubies. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the, this is where the money's at, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You see, this is where the true riches is at. It's not in the material gain. It's not in that what you look like. It's not in what you got. The true gain that you can receive in the spirit of being rich mm -hmm. is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mm -hmm. Because if you acquire this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah will give you your heart's desire in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's when we're going to be physically rich in the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. We stunting on these people, man. We're going to be, we're going to be, man, we're going to be boasting on these different heathens, man. Yep. Of the things that we physically are going to have because we sacrifice it on this side. Yep. You know? Yep. You got it, brother. You got yeah. it. Yeah. And so, you know, we're, we're highlighting to the best of our ability the importance of spiritual value and not when we look at you know these other people in the world so-called winning not get jealous of them you know right you know psalm 73 comes to mind on that that's right um that's right. Sana, did you have something okay i just had the philippians one okay um i was going to ask if you could just go to uh verse 24 um okay. yeah if you could go to verse 24 and really you know yeah let's let's uh let's get that philippians 1 24 philippians chapter 1 verse 24 you're in romans though I got it. Uh, uh, I pulled it up. Okay. Oh, shit. Sloppy. <laughs> I was on the wrong tab. My bad. Oh, you got it. I'm sorry. Yeah, Philippians 1 and 24. 
-hmm. It says, nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Mm -hmm. And having the confidence, I know that I shall abide in, and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith. Mm -hmm. Right, because Paul was talking about, you know, the, the Israelites that believe uh, in Philippi. He knew that he would rather be with the house in the spirit world, but the value, the spiritual value that he brought of just being on the earth teaching was greater than if he was to be, you know, you put, you know, if he, if he was to be in the spirit world. So that's why the Lord had him, you know, endure those different hardships for as long as he, you know, as long as he did to be able to push forth that word and write these epistles, which we're, you know, doing lessons on, you know, thousands of years later. You see, so these are things that are all in workings due to the will of the Most High, man. I don't even, you know, most people didn't see when they looked at Paul. I don't think they would say, oh, man, this man is going to be remembered <laughs> 2,000 years from now unless they were in the spirit. 